I'm Crystal from Crystal Souls and stuff on Instagram and today I wanted to share with you my April 2018 makes as well as share with you my plans for Me Made May 2018. So um, the first thing I wanted to share with you was, is what I'm wearing which is New Look 6446 and this is a cute little jumpsuit and um, I love the square neckline. It has um, a front, you know, front bodice, back bodice, it has piece, it has the invisible zipper, and then it has um, the leg pattern pieces to, for the front and back of the um, pants. And it's a capri length um, jumpsuit. And I'll insert a picture of me wearing this right over here. So I, I finished this, I, fin I finished everything for this jumpsuit on April 30th. So um, I wore it for the first day of me, May, May, since I finally finished it. Um, so the only only couple things that I, problems that I have is one is the um, the dart the front darts the original dart line was like way up here so I lowered it myself but I didn't lower it enough so I had to, I took it into my soul class to, um, to get a little bit of help so she helped me figure out how to um because I had little points so I had like 1960 bullet bra um, points at first so she helped me. Uh, lower it a little even further and to make it um smoother so um so that was one of the problems that i had and the other problem is because of the pattern pieces they had it like 8 10 12 14 14 on one and then they had um it was like every other thing so you couldn't really grade out all the way so i had to take the 16 piece and put it on top of the the um 12 the 14 piece in order because the 14 and the 16 pattern piece weren't on the same pattern sheet so i had to figure out how to um to grade it out and i still ended up taking it in i should have just did a 12 bodice and the 16 for the pants um but you know you live and you learn but um i did end up taking in a lot on the, um like an inch off the side seams because i usually do a 12 for the bodice but i decided to do a 14 because i just got a little um you know scary because I, I did i tried to i did tissue fit it a little bit but I, I don't think i did it all the way right so it was um i thought it looked the 12 was just almost too small so i wasn't sure but i probably could have got away with a 12 um and graded to a 16 i might even be able to do a 14 but i love i love the way it fits now once i took in the size and it was mostly just the bodice part and then a little bit right here i took it in but it fits very comfortably and the crotch length and everything just worked out and i guess because it's a baggy style so i didn't have to do too much fit adjustments on that end but i did have to take five inches off the bottom because i'm i'm five one so um so that was um the first make that i wanted to tell you about the next thing was um the ogden cami this one is in the blue crepe as and i also made the mccall's uh, McCall 7726 pants and I did a video on these two makes and I'll leave a link above about these two makes and I made these makes for the pennant sew it challenge here on um, on YouTube um, so I, I, I was a participant in that challenge so I made that um, so I made those makes to go with my my uh my my pin my pinned uh my pinterest inspiration for the pennant so so a challenge so the next thing i made was the lago tank top because when i made this and i explained it more in my video in the other video is that um when i made this the ogden cami um it kind of bunched up because the pants were high waisted and it because it's a loose fit it kind of bunched up on me a little bit so i decided to make a um, more close fitting tank and I made the Lago tank top by Itch to Stitch Patterns. And here it is. And I love this tank top. It was really fast to make. Of course, everything takes me longer because I have three children. <laughs> and so a lot of times, I, I never, I, I don't think I've ever made anything like one in one day. But, um, because <laughs> I usually sew a little bit, take a break, come back, sew a little bit more. Um, I guess sometimes I do it in a whole day, but most of the time I, I do something over the week and I try to finish something in a week. So that's my, um, so I made this Lago tank top. 
So um, sometimes I get more than one thing done in a week, but usually not in one day. So the next thing that I wanted to share with you was um, another Ogden Cami, as well as the Oceanside trousers. So, oh, I left the Cami upstairs, but anyway, so I made these another Ogden Cami in this. Oh no, here it is. So here's the um, here's the other Ogden Cami that I made right here, as well as the Oceanside shorts that I made from my old bridesmaids dress. So, uh, and my friend, she loved it. She thought it was so cool that I um, redid her dress. We, we did the dress from her wedding, so she wasn't mad. Um, so, that was the next thing I made. I did a whole video on this, on the whole process of me cutting up the dress and um, laying the pattern pieces out. I wanted to do the pants, but I didn't have enough fabric for the pants, so I ended up doing the shorts. And this was the first time I did the shorts, so I really like it. I'm definitely going to make some more of the shorts version um, because they fit really well. So... I might as well make those since I know they already fit. So, um, and the last thing that I made in um, April was the Simplicity uh, 8094 um, top. And I love this pattern. It's really easy. It's just, this is really beginner, beginner friendly. So, um, all it is is a front, a back, and then there's bust darts right here and then there's bias binding so the only changes that I made is I made my own bias binding here and I did it the opposite way because um, they wanted you to sew the binding on it so that it would lay with the binding going in so you would be basically invisible but since I made my own bias binding y'all gonna see the bias binding because that's a lot of effort, so when, you know, I want you to see it when I make bias binds, <laughs> it's possible. So, um, so that's what I did. And the other issue is, when I was, I was trimming some of the, um, seam before I folded over the bias binding, and I snipped into the side. I snipped right into the fabric. I was like, no, 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 I'm almost at the end. So I just, um, I just, uh, pinned it over one more time. And, um, and I was able to get it to, uh, you can't even see it. So I'm fine with it. It looks good. I guess it, it's a, probably a little bit tighter around here than it probably should be, but I think it looks still, it still looks good. So, and I got this fabric. Uh, I really love this pattern. So I got this fabric from heartsfabric.com and, um, I, I got a voucher from the um, day night challenge. Day and night challenge because I was I won a random prize for entering to the day and night dress challenge. So um, I'll insert a picture here. So those are my makes for April 2018. So next, I wanted to tell you about my plans for Me Made May 2018. So Me Made May is a challenge put on by so what do you know blogspot.com and she's been doing this for several years and the challenge is basically um for you to wear more handmade garments and what you do is pledge um how much more you're gonna um to wear more handmade items in the month of may but you set your own goals on how you want to go about it so you can pledge to um so wear something me made every day or you can wear it just on the weekends or just to work or just to church or just um you have only two dresses so you're going to wear those two dresses in may so whatever or two um skirts um or even one thing you're just going to try to wear it in may and it could be any kind of hand um handmade item so for my i decided that i was going to try to wear something every day in the month of May because I do have I've been sewing for a little over two years but I do have a lot of makes I've um especially last year I really got into sewing something I was trying to sew something every week or every other week so I've accumulated a good amount of things especially in the summer because summer dresses are um easier to make um quicker to make for the most part um so I decided I'm gonna try to wear something every day in May and um I'm gonna try to not wear the same outfit not the same garment but i'll try to if i wear the same outfit same not so 
I might wear the same garment more than once, but not the whole same outfit. Because I did a little capsule wardrobe in February for a challenge that I did on PatternReview.com. So your, it was a wardrobe contest. And so I want to mix and match those up because a lot of them are spring, um, spring fo focused. And so I want to go ahead and wear some of those as well as some of my dresses that I love. Um, and I'm going to probably make a few, few things this month. I haven't, um, completely decided on my May plans yet. But, um, so that's my plan is try to make something to wear something me made every day and not wear the same exact outfit. So like I might wear this jumpsuit again, but I'll wear it with my, um, blue jacket that I made in March. Um, my simplicity jacket. I'll, I'll show a picture here. And um, because it has the light blue in it. And that was my plan when I made this outfit was to be able to wear it with that jacket. And I can switch up the belt that goes with um, the pant, the McCall's pants with these, with these, with this belt. So I wanted to be able to um, mix and match a little bit. And I can even wear um, a cardigan or something with this. So this is a um, very versatile jumpsuit. So... Um, so those are my plans for me, May, May, and I'm going to try to post a video every week showing what I made. So, and if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see what I've been making. I've been trying to post every day. So, um, if you want to check me out and get a preview ahead of time, you can check me out at Crystal and Souls and stuff also on Instagram. And, um, so let me know if you're participating in me, May, May, and I can check you out on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching and please subscri subscribe if you haven't, if you like what you see. Thank you so much and I hope you all are having a great day. Take care. Bye.